sound financial advice very important. And who better to give it than the man we're joined by every Thursday. His name is Steve Peasley. He's a registered investment advisor, president of KPP Financial in Dana Point. Welcome, Steve. Thanks because when you me. have money like, like they probably will have, they probably will. you can retire well. That's is that right. true? That is correct. I'm hoping they're sponsored. I bet you they have really good sponsors. Probably. Right. I hope so because they deserve it. They really do. All that hard work, you know how much work that I is. I know. They do work hard. I think about that with the gymnasts, with the track and field, with all of them. This yes. is starts at five and six years old. Unfortunately. Yeah. They are the exception. That's right. We want to talk. This is your bread and butter, right? Yes. For the most part, I think one of yes. the biggest things people come to see you, how can I make sure when I retire I have enough to live a comfortable life? That's what I do. And I'm in the baby boomer generation. And we're talking about the baby boomers, which there's millions of them, a big slug going through that age, and we are not even near close to saving enough money. I think the average uh, 401k at a person of 64, 65 is going to be about $180,000. That's about not even wow. half. In fact, we have a graphic that points that out, that if you want to, some people want to retire earlier, and great for them. If they wanted to retire at 62, they need a lot more than you just said. They That's need right. 550000 That assumes they live out to the average life expectancy. <laughs> if they, now, here's what the main point we want to make today. If, you want to, if you're willing to retire at 66, you need a lot less saved. And if you're willing to retire at 70, exactly. you need only 130000 That's a week's pay for you. Um, <laughs> I wish. But, Can but I get that? <laughs> there's two things. There's a trade-off here. You have to work eight more years. That's right. You're going to work longer. That's a simple. You know, you have to get rid of that quaint notion of 65 is a retirement age. First of all, when that notion was invented, most people never lived to 65. <laughs> Good scam. Yeah. <laughs> you were going to die. That's why Social Security got a surplus. That's right. Yeah. People were going to die. I think the average age was like 57 in the 1930s. So you never made it to 65. So when you paid all that Social Security, you were never going to get it. How did the people not rise? I guess we were too busy with the Depression and World <laughs> War. To... That's right. That was a whole different. I have a question. Yeah. What about for people like in, in my age group that we're not even thinking about retirement right now? I've got a long way to go to that. Right. What can we be doing now? You have the greatest advantage if you will just take a take it if you because you have the 401k and the IRAs. I did not have that at your age. Uh -huh. There was no such thing. Okay, we were relying on pensions because you work for one company the rest of your life, they provide a pension. But for your age group, if you just put a little bit of money away, what's a little bit of money? Five thousand dollars a year. Is that a ton? No. Okay. No. I'll, okay. Twenty-five hundred dollars. It's a lot of shoes and clothes that I'm gonna have to go with. But if you but do it, the earlier you do it, you only have to do it for a few years. You'll be a multi-millionaire by the time you're 65. Really? Yes. The power of compounding. Go to the the, the calculators, the financial calculators. Mm -hmm. Go to Google and hit financial calculator. Okay. Put put numbers in there. Five thousand a year, twenty-five hundred a year. Figure out how much it's going to compound over how many years? Thirty years, forty years. It, it'd be a million, two million, three million dollars. Well, but it, of course it depends on how you invest that money. And you are a big fan of someone's these age, equities, equities, equities. Sure I am, but you know, you got to be careful. I'm not, as you get older, you get a little bit more conservative. Right. But you still have to be in the market because you got to stay ahead of inflation. And you know, recently inflation's been spiking, so. Exactly. Now, I don't know if you get into this realm at all, but if we go with this graphic and we say at 62, you have to save 500, at 70, you only have to save 130,000. So you got to work eight more years. What are the keys to staying on the job and having a 401k available for eight more years. Well, they've changed the rules. They used to be, remember you were forced to retire at 65? Right. They've got, that's quaint too. That's been gone. That there, people are moving away because we're going to have a shortage of workers. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, we're going to have a shortage of workers when when we, when we the baby boomers, I've retire. I've been reading about that. So what's going to happen, we're going to be in demand. Also, we have, we're staying much healthier, much longer, mentally healthy also. So we're going to want to work. Believe it or not, we're going to want to work. We'll change that work life. Maybe we won't want to work full time. Right. Maybe we, want, maybe we want to take a leave of absence. And the employers are going to be happy to give it to you because they need you. Right. Mm -hmm. Just, but let it be known that come that magic age, whatever, do you want to keep working? Yes. Maybe to 70. Yes, so tell them you want to keep working because if you don't, they might want to, you know, not give you the salary or the raise or the promotion because they know you're leaving.
Steve Peasley joins us every Thursday at this time. He is the president uh, of his company, uh, KPP Financial. And you can also send him questions at his website. Visit his website, investtalk.com. He'll be back next Thursday. And if you also want to send a question to us for Steve, you can do that, please. News at kdoc.tv. Thanks think, for having I was me. thinking, you know how many pairs of shoes that'll be when I'm like in my 60s? <laughs> shoes wear out. Retirement doesn't. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Think about that. Okay.